yes hello children i hope you all are doing good so today i am here to explain you all about parts of speech you all must be thinking that's a very general topic we what we have been learning since a very long time like right from your childhood days you would be learning the same topic noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction interjection yes all eight parts of speech but here when we come uh, to attend any grammatical questions in our grammar paper or anywhere you know where grammar creeps into our paper they ask in depth questions about this parts of speech as well firstly let us know what is the meaning of parts of speech what is the meaning of parts of speech let us consider here speech as a sentence okay let us take this speech as a sentence and this sentence comprises of number of words yes we have different words there and each word is categorized into a part okay all together like one word may be noun another will be pronoun another will be adjective another one will be verb another one will be conjunction yes there may be interjection as well so all these words together form a meaningful sentence just with the help of subject or just with the help of object or just with the help of verb no sentence can be formed so we need all these parts okay of speech to frame a complete beautiful meaningful sentence okay so what are those parts of speech here i have already written and you all are pretty aware about what these parts of speech are of course you also know the meaning of these parts of speech yes noun is nothing but a naming word pronoun is nothing but a word that is used instead of repeatedly using the noun yes and adjective that qualifies more okay what more that qualifies noun and pronoun in a more specific manner okay noun pronoun and adjective comes into one group and then let's move on to the next group of verb and adverb verbs are all action words and verb you know that's a, that that's a topic like ocean okay how many types of verbs what all are there in that you know one complete solid class will be dealt on verbs okay as of now let us just remember that verbs are all action words okay all these action words of like doing having being all these words come into verbs and what are adverbs adverbs are those words that qualify verbs that gives extra meaning to these uh, verbs is called uh, adverb then what is preposition so here these two are the most confusing uh, uh, topics in our grammar okay especially when we consider this parts of speech among this parts of speech this preposition and conjunction are the most confusing and terrific topics okay you may think what is their conjunction and conjunction is and and if you want to think beyond it's just so but all these words come into conjunction you feel but there are many 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 words i'll give you almost 50 plus conjunctions that will be used in our day to day life we may not know that those words are conjunctions but unknowingly we will be using those words and when the same question comes into our paper like identify conjunction in the sentence you will not know which one is conjunction because we will be just looking and searching for where and is where but is where so is where hence is and where since is okay we will be just looking at that word which is connecting two words yes but conjunction is in another ocean oh i just jumped into conjunction without completing preposition yes preposition is also another vast topic i'll give you 100 plus prepositions which will be very much helpful in not only our school life but also if you are perfect in these topics what i'm going to deal now you will be able to attempt any competitive exams in your life life uh, uh, like after your class 10 intermediate and 
when you are in your graduations you can attempt your ibps you can attempt your uh, iset law set uh, you know all exams can be dealt in fact such questions will come into our groups and civils also like in preliminaries you know we have prelims you all are not aware about it if you just browse you will know more information about it like staff selection commissions any competitive examinations like nowadays even to crack any a uh, private uh, job like if you want to enter into any software organization even there there will be a small examination on your communication skills and grammar knowledge so even at that time this topics will be definitely useful to you all so this is like a lifetime learning to you all once you concentrate on these topics this will definitely help you out throughout your life in cracking your dream jobs as well so children not only just uh, gaining marks but also we can concentrate on our future like if you concentrate here you can also gain something benefit in your future so preposition is nothing but those words very very short short words that stand before noun or pronoun okay preposition preposition where is the position pre pre to what noun or pronoun and this one also we will be dealing with a solid you know material like uh, i think two or three sessions would be there for prepositions okay and then last but not the least interjection as far as my knowledge is interjection is not a part and parcel of grammar it is just an object included in this but there is no much rules regulations to remember or memorize in this interjection these are just a group of words which um, you know uh, makes reader understand our uh, expressions like alas oh bravo all these words you know a feeling of excitement sorrow all these things mixture of emotions like in short word if we want to express those words come under interjections okay so very quickly we completed the uh, short introduction of all these parts of speech but now we are going to enter into core subject now so one by one one by one we will be dealing all these topics slowly but today we will be completing about noun parts of noun i hope you have already observed here i have written all that stuff related to noun so basically what we know about noun noun is nothing but a naming word it's a very 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 general definition where lakhs of people remember this and lakhs of people use this definition in their life when they talk about noun okay noun is a naming word so what kind of a naming word it is what kind of a naming word children it uh, you know names of people names of animals names of objects names of substances names of feelings names of events names of you know state like what state they are in not this telangana andhra pradesh jammu and kashmir haryana not that state but what state they are in are they in childhood are they in adolescence are they in old age so all these things names of all these things comes under noun whatever may be the thing all names if you really feel that this is the name of a feeling or an expression or an action or an object or a material okay or in general a group you know all these things all these names comes under the roof of noun okay done yes so what are the parts of nouns how many parts of nouns do we have five parts of nouns nouns is noun is always classified into five parts what are they proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun these are the five parts of nouns yes five we have five fingers right remember that way five proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun okay as the names so the definitions just remember the names you will understand the meaning and you will easily identify proper noun is just names of persons places animals and all that comes into proper noun and here i have given example as delhi uh, rama and you can also give uh, an example of animals birds all these living creatures animal uh, living creatures names can be given under proper noun okay all the names of human beings animals places 
in short names of all living things and names of places comes under proper noun okay then what comes under the next noun common noun common commonly what do we call girls boys yes uh, all these things teachers king principals ministers in general irrespective of their gender we call them right teacher do we call male teacher female teacher no yes in general we call them like that in common ministers mlas mps councillors yes all these names given in common in general irrespective of gender comes under this common noun here are the examples given like girl boy king etc you can explore in this you can get many more common nouns if you just browse and get okay and if time permits definitely i'm going to release another video on common nouns or you know examples of these nouns and next comes collective noun collective noun just don't look at the examples collective noun means collection yes collection of jewelry collection of perfumes collection of uh, uh, you know uh, churidars collection of uh, bracelets yes collection of earrings collection means what all different 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 we are putting them together collection of earrings means all different kinds of earrings collection of bangles means all different one will have kundan another set of bangles will have stones another set of bangles will have diamonds another set of bangles are just made out of gold yes uh, another set of bangles with 1 gram gold another set of bangles with um, silver coated uh, bangles yes but all come under bangles yes so all together collection don't get confused between common noun and collective noun collective noun is the name given to that complete group okay how crowd audience okay and uh, group of birds is called as flock a group of animals is called as herd group of uh, soldiers is called army yes here it is all together collection group common noun commonly called irrespective of gender collection noun collection of group of things together group of objects together group of people together crowd all those words come under collective nouns i hope i am clear you can just pause go back and also watch this video for clear understanding or better understanding okay next comes the most simple thing in our noun category that is material noun all materials come under this material noun material means not dress materials but all kind of materials like this chalk or plastic wood oil milk rice all these things come under material all those materials what we see like velvet you know paper all that whatever you see around cotton all this comes under material noun all materials and substances is ca called material noun if they specifically give some sentence on material okay wood is used everywhere in this world identify noun here then what will be the noun you will be search only for names of persons places and animals and you feel like there is no noun in this sentence but there is noun what kind of noun material noun wood is there in this sentence okay or about oil or about cotton or about rice if any sentence if you find names of any materials there you have to underline it and make it as a noun okay identify it as noun and last but not the least it is abstract noun abstract noun is uh, you know it tells about the names of our qualities our action and our state state means once again let me tell you that is not state of telangana andhra pradesh haryana maharashtra bangalore kerala tamil nadu no not those states at what level at what state what is your mental condition what is your physical condition all those can can be called as state okay state of actions 
so names of all these quality action or state comes under abstract noun you know those feelings which can't be uh, you know expressed clearly okay truth beauty honest all these are quality of people yes at the same time you can write qualities of negativity as well i just wanted to put down all good things here so i've given all truth beauty and honest as quality of human beings and then action can be like hatred robbery theft okay those action kind of words which are working like nouns can be called as an abstract noun and coming to the state what state i just told like at what level to what stage you are like child like behavior child like also is like a state okay young slavery poverty what is their economic condition at what level of state they are economically poverty that also can be called as state okay to have thorough knowledge about all these parts of speech you need to uh, you know uh, swim in the world of words you know just take words okay and just try to find out what it is what parts of speech does it belong to and just check your answers then automatically you will be professional in this parts of speech one of these parts of speech that is noun okay i hope you all enjoyed my session that's all about uh, the parts of speech uh, now okay in our very next session we will be learning even more about noun uh, noun is not just you know this class is not an end to learn noun like there are many things to learn like countable nouns and countable nouns blah 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 so much is there so in our next session we will be dealing few more points about now on and slowly later on we will be covering all these topics one after the other okay that's all for uh, today's session let's catch up again with um, little more stuff about nouns and catch you all again very very soon